start the last topic measure and probability. No, uh, as much as I can tell you and uh, as much as I understand myself. Uh, so, let me start from the finite setup. Let us consider a uh, uh, finite set S. Uh, so, uh, uh, S1, Sn. And we consider a set, say, T in S. And uh, the uh, uh, counting measure, say, mu of t is the number of element in t divided by number element in s. So it's just counting measure. So we uh, give all the elements in T equal uh, weight. <coughs> the idea behind all the further is the following. Suppose that S is a set, now it is non-standard set, yeah? and T also. T in element uh, is a subset of S, so this means that T also in start U. Yeah, so S is non-standard but internal because it is element of star u it is internal set and uh, t is its internal subset and uh, we for internal uh, set s but which is mm, i would say uh, uh, in a minute I will explain what it is uh, hyperfinite yes hyperfinite set we can uh, define uh, the numerator and denominator if S and T are hyperfinite sets so what is hyperfinite set So, uh, S is hyperfinite or uh, star finite. If um, simply S is internal, And uh, S, say, subset of star N, for example. Or S is in internal one-to-one -one correspondence. With uh, the set um, k less than uh, k in star n, k less 
or equal than n. For some uh, non-standard n. No, it can be in a degenerate case uh, finite, but usually uh, it, when it's interesting when it is infinite. No, uh, let us uh, somehow materialize this set, uh, what is internal uh, star finite set. Uh, let me uh, assume that I, uh, in this case, equal and I is the index set. Yeah? So our set uh, S. Consider uh, the function s of i uh, such that s of i is finite for almost all i. No, in the sense which we had many times in the previous. So we have this function s of i. Uh, it is finite, uh, and uh, we can even assume that S of I is uh, um, in uh, N. So it is a finite subset of natural numbers, it's enough. Uh, so this is the set. So what are the elements of the set? So consider X. x of i, yes, and uh, uh, suppose that uh, x of i element of n, and we write that x is an uh, element of s if x of i element of s of i for almost all i, yeah, as usual. Now, uh, if you have a set T, uh, uh, T of i, again, subset of um, n, then we write uh, T subset of s, if uh, C of I is a subset of S of I for almost all I. No, uh, it is a uh, uh, it was proved already, or explained, or maybe I will give it as a, a, another question, uh, that if, uh, for example, uh, the set S of I, uh, the number of elements which is finite, is uh, uh, bounded uh, by some finite number, so they are not only finite, but all have bounded uh, number of elements, then uh, uh, we have, uh, uh, one moment, uh, no, uh, 
uh, I'm sorry, I did not say it. Yes, uh, so this is uh, the definition of a star finite set. Uh, so S is star fi finite if uh, it has uh, this uh, uh, structure. So S is uh, defined by a sequence of finite sets. Each such element uh, is a such set uh, uh, um, uh, so we write m s equals x in s so uh, this is the set of elements of this set uh, now um, In particular, a uh, really finite set set uh, is a uh, I'm sorry, standard. Standard finite set. It is uh, S, S of I, S0 for almost all I. So it is uh, uh, the set defined by a constant sequence. Yes, uh, 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 S equals star S0. Uh, for this element, star as uh, of this form, or uh, for standard uh, finite sets, you have the function uh, is defined for finite standard S. Uh, so this function uh, can be extended to the non-standard. Uh, so what is this? Uh, this is a non-standard number. Uh, let me write f of i, which is equal s of i. So it is a sequence of these numbers. Simply so. Uh, uh, f of i, and we have m f in star n equal star. Uh, star number uh, uh, of elements of S. Yeah. So this is uh, the. Uh, uh, it is, uh, uh, I would say, natural uh, extension of uh, the uh, number of elements uh, to this. Uh, uh, Yes. Uh, so S is defined by a sequence of uh, elements, uh, and uh, we have here interesting parallel. Uh, no, not parallel, but rather per perpendicular. Uh, so for a star finite set, we can define its. Uh, uh, non-standard number of elements, which is a non-standard number, non-standard integer number. But at the same time, 
uh, the, uh, uh, there is a, just a usual set of elements, a set of uh, sequences such that for almost all uh, i, uh, it is element of uh, S of i. Uh, uh, it turns out that there is little connection between them because uh, the uh, set theoretical uh, number of uh, these elements, I mean cardinality, can be very high, uh, at least uh, for any uh, infinite set S. Uh, uh, it is uh, so the set uh, S is either uh, finite or uncountable, so at least uh, the power of continuum. So, uh, and uh, on one hand, uh, and uh, on the other hand, we have uh, this non standard object uh, which behaves quite well, uh, and in particular, if you have T subset of S, uh, then uh, we have a, they are uh, internal. Uh, we have that the number, uh, star number of element of T is less or equal than star number of element of uh, S. Yeah. So, uh, it is uh, by uh, uh, transfer. So, uh, this uh, implication holds uh, for finite set, standard finite set, so it holds for uh, non-standard infinite sets. Not the infinite, but internal set. Transfer holds for internal set. So why I'm telling uh, all this? Uh, because uh, now what is tempting to do? Uh, why it was uh, uh, considered? Consider uh, the following interesting object. Let us take N, uh, which is a non-standard number. Uh, non-standard integer number, and uh, uh, consider the following uh, non-standard set uh, T uh, K divided by N such that um, K in star N uh, K uh, less or equal than N. So it is the set of points. Oh, uh, no, okay. Uh, uh, let us take uh, uh, zero also possible. So it is the point zero, one over n, two over n, and so on. So this is internal set. This is internal set. And uh, consider its subset uh, uh, T, S, uh, V, T, yeah? And we uh, can define something which resembles as a measure, mu of V equals star number of element of V divided by star number of elements of T. No, this is N. Uh, no, N plus 1. Uh, so, mu of V. Uh, so, there is mu between 0 and 1. Uh, can we use this definition to define a measure on a unit segment. Can we define measures? We need standard measures. 
can be defined standard measure using the non-standard, uh, uh, this non-standard formula, this counting measure. No, for example, by the following trick, uh, depending on what is V. So set uh, V equals uh, such an element uh, K divided by N in uh, T such that standard part of K divided by N uh, belongs to some uh, uh, set A where A is subset in uh, uh, zero one. Okay. So we uh, set V and uh, we take uh, this uh, formula. Uh, 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 what is measure of V? by this formula. Yes? Is it related to me the back measure of A? Yeah. No, Lebeck me we have already the back measure, so uh, uh, it is um, satisfactory if we want to measure uh, the sets, uh, say, in the segment or in finite dimensional space or anywhere uh, where we have the depth measure. But uh, if you go to more uh, interesting situations like uh, random processes, so there is also uh, measure in some exotic spaces, then uh, uh, such a definition can be uh, more preferable. So this way we can construct measure uh, or hope to construct measure which are uh, much uh, more powerful than uh, uh, the Lebesgue measure and even uh, the something measure Lebesgue measures like the back measure can uh, simply not exist there. Uh, and here, uh, we, uh, and this definition still works. So to this end, we need to find, uh, uh, to construct uh, the uh, measure theory. So measure theory, uh, uh, to define a measure, we have, uh, we have to define first the measurable sets, which sets are measurable. And then for the measurable sets, we should define the measure. So that such formula makes sense. And uh, it was done uh, for uh, uh, this situation, for counting measure, and even more uh, exotic, uh, more general measures was done by, by uh, uh, Peter Loeb. Uh, and uh, now I wanted to tell you his construction, uh, construction of non-standard measure, which is called Loeb measure. But first, I have to tell some uh, interesting property and important property uh, uh, of uh, non-standard models, uh, which is uh, called uh, countable saturation.
So namely, I have the following, uh, I mean the following theorem. Suppose we have a sequence uh, A1 is a uh, uh, A2 AN we have a countable sequence of decreasing internal sets. Perception uh, and from one to infinity a n is not empty. We can uh, easily construct such sequence, uh, decreasing sequence of sets. Uh, uh, in usual, uh, our universe where uh, this doesn't hold a sequence of sets such that uh, uh, their intersection is uh, empty. Now, for example, uh, consider the sets, say, a n equals n and plus one, and so on. Yeah. Uh, just uh, standard sets. Uh, so uh, it is uh, uh, just natural number starting from n. So it's obvious that intersection of these sets is empty, because starting from n plus one, n is not uh, uh, element. Uh, so for all n, uh, eventually they will vanish from here, and uh, uh, the, all this will be empty. But it turns out that for internal sets, it, does, it is not true. So what does it mean? It, this means that this set is not in, the sets are not internal. And they really are not internal because we proved uh, uh, some time uh, that uh, uh, the set N natural numbers is not internal, it is external, yeah? So, uh, and uh, we see that a uh, decreasing sequence of sets, if they are not internal, uh, can have empty intersect. But if they are internal, it always has non-empty intersection, yeah? Uh, so, uh, it shows uh, uh, sort of rigidity of uh, the structure of non-standard universe. In fact, it is rigid. Um, Counter example. And this is not internal. Now, uh, the proof is uh, the following. The proof is the following. So, uh, the set uh, A1, A uh, A1, for example, is uh, in fact equivalence class of a function uh, such that for any i uh, its value is a set. So 
it is uh, a function of i is a sequence yes so it is a 1 1 a 1 2 and so on a 1 n and so on yeah, uh, uh, just a sequence of uh, sets. Yeah. A two. A two one. A two two, and so on. A M equals A M one. A, M2, and so on. And our uh, condition that uh, this is decreasing uh, sequence says that uh, A, uh, so what does mean that A2 is inside a, a subset of A1? It is A2, say P, is always subset of a one p for almost all p. Yeah. Uh, and so on. Uh, in general, a m plus one p subset of A uh, M P. No, we can uh, draw the picture. So the, here is the first sequence A1. A2. It's uh, the sets, uh, let's say A1, uh, one, one. it is A1, 2, and so on. A3 is uh, also the sequence of sets. So that uh, we have uh, these. Uh, Diagram is always subset of this, this almost always, almost always. Yeah, so we have uh, this uh, uh, picture, and now it would be very helpful if. Uh, these relations uh, satisfy, are satisfied not for almost all p, but simply for all p. And this is made by some uh, correction of uh, these uh, sequences. So we may correct the sequence, uh, change them at uh, a set of places which has measure zero, so that uh, these uh, relations are satisfied for all p. So assume that it is true. Uh, uh, yes, let us uh, take it uh, for uh, proof. And then uh, uh, we do the following thing. Let us take the sequence uh, x1 x1 element of a11 x2 element of a22 and so on so we take uh, some element of each set which is uh, on the diagonal yeah. then we we'll see that uh, x2 is in the set uh, 
a uh, two in the sequence a two uh, in the set a uh, two two, and at the same time it is in the set a one two because this uh, this set is subset of this. Yes. So let me write x one is in a one one, x two in a uh, two two. And x2 in a do uh, one and so on. Xk in a k k and in a k k minus one and and in a k one. So what does it mean? This means uh, that each element, uh, each, each element of this set, uh, will be uh, uh, permanently in uh, the, this sequence, uh, say a, a k, and in all the previous sequences, starting from one, from the position number k, but. This set uh, from zero to k uh, is uh, this set of indices is of measure zero. Every finite set uh, in the uh, ultra filter has measure zero, so it is negligible. So we can see that uh, x k in um, A uh, I would say this sequence S is the sequence X one, X two, and so on. We can say that x in a k for all k equals x in a k e for all E more or equal than K. X in A K uh, in uh, uh, in A K uh, almost everywhere for all. Uh, uh, the indices, uh, but a finite number. It means almost everywhere. So we found element X such that this element is in all these uh, uh, sets, A1, A2, A3, and so on. This means that X elements of intersection a k, k in n. So we, uh, this means that uh, uh, a k is not empty. It contains at least one element. Now, so what is this? Uh, this is uh, all good counters diagonal argument. Which what's here too. So uh, we have this. Uh, no, as a, a application which also we will need uh, is the following uh, theory. Uh, 
theorem, which is called countable comprehension. I don't know why it is called this way, but uh, let us uh, think. So suppose we have a sequence of internal set. Uh, A1, A2, and so on are internal set. Then there exists internal sequence. A K or okay, A N. Uh, and between one and some n capital, where n capital is infinite number. So we can continue this sequence, or it is arbitrary sequence of sets. We can continue this sequence as internal sequence. No, I'll, I'll tell you, we uh, cannot do it by hand, uh, simply uh, take the same sequence uh, for all finite and, and then uh, continue is by hand somehow, say, uh, for all uh, uh, infinite uh, and uh, uh, take, say, empty set. Yes, so take uh, only this sequence and then empty set. Uh, but this sequence is not internal. Yeah? Uh, this, uh, uh, what is, uh, it is in fact a function uh, of uh, uh, this argument n, which is uh, from 1 to some non-standard number, uh, and uh, 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 this uh, function is a set uh, defined by its graph, and uh, if you uh, do this operation, which I told you, just try to do it by hand, uh, uh, this uh, uh, set will be not internal. It is not internal because we can uh, uh, look where uh, this uh, set uh, is um, empty, uh, for which a n is empty, it should be internal set of arguments, and uh, this uh, set is not internal because it is a set of uh, infinite numbers which is less than uh, some n. Uh, this set is not internal. So uh, here is some content and uh, how this uh, is proved. Uh, let us uh, consider a smaller problem. Uh, find an internal sequence such that its first term is A1. Uh, so, no, we can find this sequence with just A1 and A1 and so on. No problem. So, so such a uh, sequence exists. Uh, now, uh, uh, find a sequence uh, such that its first two terms are A1 and A2. Okay, 
internal sigma a1, a2, a1, a2, and so on is defined for uh, odd uh, values of i, it is a1, and for even is a2. So it is a, a, a formula in the uh, formal language, it defines us uh, this uh, sequence, and it uh, can uh, be continued till any uh, non standard number n. And uh, if you take uh, the first k, a1, a2 times a k, then let's repeat them periodically. Yes? So this means uh, 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 the following thing. Let uh, say b n be the set of all internal sequences such uh, that uh, uh, they start from A1, A2, A N. So all internal uh, continuations of this finite uh, of finite signal length n. So uh, they all are uh, uh, non-empty. So we have um, uh, and now we have B one. Uh, uh, which start from A1 contains B2, which start from A1, A2. Yeah? It contains B3, and so on. Yeah? So we have a uh, uh, decreasing sequence of sets, uh, this Bn, this set Bn is a set of sequences. Uh, uh, next, uh, the Each set Bn is uh, internal because it's defined uh, in our language. Each set is internal by uh, okay. Now, let say a uh, beta be the set of all. internal uh, of all and uh, non-standard such that uh, there exists continuous uh, internal Continuation of A1, A2, and so on, on uh, the set uh, uh, from 1 to this maybe non standard element N. Yeah. So again, N uh, beta. is internal. Beta is internal.
external set. Again, uh, it is, uh, uh, yes. It is internal set, and we know that uh, something else, some non-standard numbers. So, so here is exactly this. No, that's it. Uh, so we have proof. Uh, so for this n, we have continuation of our sequence uh, uh, to all n. Uh, for, to all uh, uh, indices, uh, non standard indices from 1 to this capital N. That's it. And now we, uh, we have to look what time is it? Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, I will need both these theorems in constructing uh, the log measure. So suppose, uh, uh, let us return. So we have, uh, let us call it omega which is star finite set. We have star finite set omega. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, internal. Now consider all its uh, uh, subsets, uh, which is internal subset A. Uh, algebra of internal subsets of A. So Algebra, what does it mean? So if if A and B in uh, this algebra, then A uh, union B intersection A minus B uh, B minus A uh, 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 all of them uh, are in uh, A. Yeah, so this algebra, uh, which is uh, closed under uh, intersections, unions, and uh, differences, uh, 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 
uh, of, of the sets. No, uh, in particular, uh, if you take uh, uh, C A equals omega minus A, uh, omega is already the element of our algebra, and uh, of course, uh, uh, empty set also is element of algebra. Yes. So this is a algebra which is, uh, uh, I would say, uh, I don't say that it is sigma algebra. It is just algebra. So it is closed under finite sums, finite interception, and finite uh, combinations of this with uh, the difference. So it is just algebra. Now, if you have such algebra, you have a measure. Uh, because uh, if you have an uh, internal set, uh, internal subset of A, it also has internal, uh, it has a, a number of elements, non-standard number of elements. So, I would say, mu of A equals non-standard number of elements of A is defined for all elements of our algebra. So, uh, because A uh, is uh, uh, internal. So for any element A, we have uh, this. And we define it as mu of A. Now, uh, uh, again, by transfer, uh, I can write uh, that uh, uh, I'm sorry. Mu of A equals uh, number of element of A divided by number element of omega to keep it between 0 and 1. I am uh, interested in uh, mostly in probabilistic, probability measure. Yeah? Uh, now, uh, mu of A union B equals mu of A plus mu of B, no, minus mu of A intersection with B. Yes, uh, this is true for finite uh, sets A and B. So it is true uh, here by transfer. simply possible in measure and probability. So we need to have something which is standard and sigma additive. So, excuse me? Uh -huh. Define uh, uh, the measure standard path. Yeah. 
equal standing part of mu of a. So this is our measure. Uh, you, uh, this is already standard measure. Uh, so this means that uh, standard mu is finitely additive. set uh, of uh, this algebra also as a standard algebra. Yeah? As soon as I say that we continue that standard, so we uh, erase uh, all this uh, uh, complicated construction of non-standard tables just as a set, a set of sets, uh, then uh, say its size becomes huge. Yes, uh, so its uh, cardinality can be quite large. Uh, 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 standard algebra A. Uh, so we have uh, uh, the uh, triple. Omega, A, and standard mu. Now it is a standard triple. We have a set, the total set. We have algebra of subsets, finitely uh, uh, additive algebra of subset here, and some uh, finitely additive measure, uh, st standard mu, on this A. Uh, now uh, the question is uh, what to do with this. We want, as usual, to extend this measure, we extend A and uh, continue this measure, so that as a result we get uh, sigma algebra A. For now it is not, uh, we don't know if it is a sigma algebra. Uh, sigma algebra is algebra such that the union of countable set of its uh, elements is also a set from the algebra. Yeah? Uh, and uh, uh, this, uh, set, uh, this should be uh, sigma additive. This means uh, that uh, the um, uh, measure of union of uh, uh, non-overlapping uh, uh, sets uh, is equal to the sum of these of their measures. And now the theorem So uh, it is uh, the smallest sigma algebra uh, which is contained uh, so that A containing A. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, if you take uh, this uh, uh, new sigma algebra and uh, if you uh, take this uh, 
continuation of this measure, uh, then we, uh, uh, we get, it is not the finish, we have to take uh, completion. Completion means that uh, we have to add, add to this algebra all the null sets. Null set is a set such that uh, it is subset of some set of measure zero. Yeah? So, uh, completion. of uh, sigma of A uh, is uh, denoted uh, how is it denoted A of A uh, continuation of mu is denoted uh, standard mu uh, denoted uh, mu l and so we have the triple omega L of A, this new algebra, and uh, mu L, uh, which uh, 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 they form uh, the Lloyd space. Now, how can we do all this? Uh, it looks uh, quite ambitious. Uh, there exists a uh, general theorem, which is called Cara Theodori uh, Extension Theory. Suppose we have a uh, triple omega, then you have some algebra f, uh, algebra uh, of sets, and uh, you have measure mu. Uh, suppose mu is uh, Finitely additive on F first. Uh, second. Uh, no, for uh, let us assume uh, that mu of omega is one. Uh, uh, just uh, not to deal with uh, infinite uh, measure of omega and three uh, mu is sigma additive. On F, on, the, on this algebra F. What does it mean? This means that if uh, A equals uh, uh, say A I in F. A i a j is uh, for i different from j and a which is union a i i from one to infinity also in f then uh, 
uh, mu of a equals sum mu of a i. So this is uh, finding uh, it is countably uh, uh, ca uh, a sigma additive on f, uh, and then. Uh, Then there exists unique continuation of mu uh, uh, on the algebra. Sigma algebra uh, sigma of f generated by f f as uh, uh, sigma additive measure. So this is uh, the Caratiadori theorem. No, uh, its proof uh, takes several uh, pages, and uh, uh, it's not hard but uh, a little bit long. Uh, so I take it as granted. Now what we have, uh, uh, which properties we have? It is finitely additive. We have it. This we have. And we need only this. Yeah. So let me uh, state uh, prove it. Uh, now um, let me reformulate this um, condition. Uh, uh, suppose we have uh, uh, this uh, A is union of this A I, and now let's consider. B equals A minus uh, here A1 union A2 union, union AN, B number N. Uh, so it is, uh, uh, so to say, the tail. Now we have uh, B1 is more than B2. And so on, uh, more or equal. Uh, so uh, uh, this is decreasing sequence of sets. And uh, uh, because A is union of these sets, uh, A1, A2, uh, then uh, uh, starting from some uh, index, from index N, uh, the set AN will be absent in corresponding B N. Yes? Uh, so this means that intersection of B N uh, is uh, uh, yeah? uh, is empty. Uh, so uh, uh, our condition is uh, that if you have uh, such uh, a decreasing sequence of sets, then it's interse a decreasing sequence of sets, yes, and intersection of uh, all this uh, sequence is empty, then we have to prove that uh, mu uh, of dn goes to zero as n goes to infinity. So if you have a, a decreasing sequence of sets uh, such that their intersection is empty, then uh, 
the measures decrease to zero, go to zero. Yeah, this uh, property is called uh, sometimes uh, uh, continuity of measure. So measure is continuous if uh, this holds. No, uh, uh, measure is continuous if this holds. So if you have decreasing sequence of uh, uh, sets, uh, so, so that the intersection is zero, then uh, uh, the measures of these sets go to zero. Now, what does uh, Peter Loeb do with this? Our algebra A, uh, which we consider, is an algebra of internal sets. Yeah? So suppose you have a sequence of internal sets. AK in A, internal sets. And uh, A1 more than A2 and so on. And then uh, the uh, countable saturation says that intersection of An from infinity is not zero by countable saturation. Yes? What does it mean? It means that this situation cannot happen in our algebra. Yeah? That uh, you say if, but this if is impossible. Yeah? So this means that uh, this condition uh, is logically speaking, it is uh, satisfied automatically. Yes, but simply before there is no situation in this algebra uh, which is described by these conditions. Yeah? Um, so, uh, A mm. Uh, what to say? Sigma uh, no. is sigma additive on A. Yeah, so uh, this is uh, one of the most uh, beautiful tricks which I met uh, in uh, logic uh, that how to prove that some statement uh, holds that if A then B. One of the proofs is that in our system A can never happen. Yes, so this statement is automatically true. Yes, so it is uh, a little a bit convoluted but still logic. So what does it all mean? It means that uh, here uh, uh, for the algebra A and uh, the measure standard of nil, all conditions of Cartier theorem are uh, fulfilled, and hence uh, we can define uh, L of a algebra nu L uh, and uh, omega of course are defined. So that's why we constructed uh, uh, this uh, non-standard measure. I again say that this algebra is huge. 
Yes, uh, and uh, uh, to have uh, some concrete application, we have to take relatively very small subalgebra of it. Yes, so uh, uh, we uh, next time I will consider how to uh, reach uh, the Lebesgue measure. It is one subalgebra. Yes, how to reach the Wiener measure or Poisson measure, it is another subalgebra, and uh, still other much more exotic, uh, which I also want to explain, is related to some really exotic thing in probability, which is called black noise. Black noise is something opposite to white. So first I'll explain what is white noise, and then I will explain what is black noise. And black noise is, uh, I think, nearly impossible to explain in the standard uh, setup. So uh, uh, in black noise, uh, this uh, formalism is quite necessary. Yes. Okay, so here I uh, somehow skipped, and uh, let me skip it forever, uh, that uh, here we extended the algebra, and then we have to make the last step and add uh, new sets. Yes, so that this algebra with new sets uh, became a measure with new sets, all this become rounded, so it is uh, called complete. Yes, so uh, suppose we did this done with stereo. Uh, and uh, now we have this general construction, and uh, next time we will extract uh, some juice of it, uh, some standard juice. Okay, now let us finish. <laughs>